Hello everyone, today I'm going to present to you a video tutorial about how to use Kahoot. I hope you'll understand and enjoy it. Let's start! Kahoot is one of the most popular gamified platforms for quizzes. Kahoot is a fun engaging way that you can design, share, and easily implement games and gamified quizzes in your classroom. Firstly, you need to open your favorite browser and go to your search engine. My favorite browser is Google Chrome and Google. Then you type Kahoot in your search engine. Now we see two websites for Kahoot. The second one is for teachers and the first one, Kahoot.it, is for students. We're going to try both of them and see how both works. Let's go. On the web main website of Kahoot for teachers, you have to sign up, which is for free. Let's sign up. It asks you to choose one of the account types. Now that we're going to use it as a teacher, I am choosing the teacher, but you can also log in or sign in. You can sign in as a student or a personal or a professional. I'm going to choose the teacher. Now you have to describe your workplace if you're working in a school, higher education, school administration, business or others. I'm going to choose higher education. And it asks you one of the sign up options. You can sign up with Google, Microsoft or other options. I'm going to sign up with Google, continue with Google. It is signing up now. Now it's logging into the website, the main website of Kahoot. If you see this screen, you have to find and choose continue for free if you don't want to pay any money and if you want to pay, if you want to use it for free, you have to click on continue for free. Now you are on the main website on the dashboard of Kahoot. You can start creating Kahoots now. You can either click here to create a new Kahoot or you can create a new Kahoot by clicking on the create button. Let's create a Kahoot. You can also create courses. You click on new Kahoot. So this is the web page that you can design and create and then share your Kahoot with your students. So let's start. At, in the very beginning, you have to start typing your question. So our question is going to be, what is Kahoot? And you can here, you can insert a media. You can arrange your time limits for each question. There are time limits for uh, each question. Then you can choose how you want to point your each question. And then you have to add and answers. You have to choose or select at least two answers for your each questions. Each question, the, the fourth and the third ones are optional. So Kahoot is a game. The second one, Kahoot is a food. Of course, Kahoot is a game. So you have to click and select your correct answer. If you want to create a basic Kahoot, all you need to do is enough now. Then you have to save your Kahoot. You can add more questions. You can add slides. You can add questions from the question bank where you can find questions prepared before. And then let's save it. You have to enter a title for your Kahoot. Let's say it's going to be Kahoot 1. You can add more description to your quiz. 
Let's save it. And done. So your Kahoot is ready now. That's if you press start, you are it's going to create a number that you can share with your students so that your students can start the quiz. Let's start it. <clears throat> This is the last page before your Kahoot is almost ready. You can choose classic mode, you can choose classic mode or team mode, or you can arrange some other things here. I'm going to choose classic mode. And now it's going to create a pin code that you can share with your students. Now your pin code is ready. Now you have to copy this pin code and Share it with your students. Your students can answer the count with this count. Now we are on the students page. I'm going to enter the code created by this teacher. Now as a student we're ready to Enter the game. You have to select a nickname for yourself. My nickname is going to be PX. Now we are in on the teacher screen. We can see the first player. If we start it, our student will start the game. Let's start. This is the student site and student is getting ready for the Kahoot. And this is the teacher's site. The screen is going to be this way for the teachers and the screen is going to be this way for students. And the students have to choose one of the shapes according to the correct answer. As a teacher, you can click on show media or you can click on next. It will show you some information about the correct answers, some statistics about the answers correct or wrong answers answered by your students. You can get feedback as a teacher if you want, you can get feedback as I just mentioned. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it.